Hello friends, this video on biomolecules part 25 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Secondary and tertiary structure. Primary structure, secondary structure and tertiary structure for the nucleic acid. Right? If you see here, what is happening here is, these are my nucleotides. Uh, right? Nucleobases. This, this whole thing is a nucleotide. Actually. These are my nucleobases. This is my uh, backbone. That is my sugar and the phosphoric acid and this is my nuclear basis. So we talk about the primary structure. Primary structure is nothing but the sequence of letter that indicates the nucleotides. For example, AUG, right? GAC, all this and three of these will form one codone. Three base will form one codone. So primary structure is nothing but sequence of letter that indicates order of nucleotides. So in DNA, we'll use the GACT in DNA for RNA we use sequence of GACU because T is not used uracil is used right so this sequence the so primary structure is nothing but sequence of nucleotides because each sequence will represent one information and this sequence is responsible for unique character and this has a direct impact on the functioning of living organism right because and this sequence also help in finding the parents of a kid because a parent will pass on this sequence to the kid almost same so with that there's a match they can say okay this uh, kid belongs to this parent so primary structure is nothing but the sequence of nucleotides so once i have got the sequence then i need to form the secondary structure right and this is a uh, for DNA, it is a double strand helix structure, and Jane Watson and Francis Strick gave this structure to this DNA double stranded helix structure. So, if you see in DNA, there are two nucleic acid chain are wound about each other and held together by hydrogen bond. So, you see, this is one chain, this is, sorry, this is one chain, this is another chain, chain one and chain two, right? These two chains are bound to a hydrogen bond between these right between this space of uh, between this uh, pair of bases we have a hydrogen bonding and there's only certain pairs which complement to each other for example uh, my g my guai mean mean will form a bond with cytosine if you see green and blue will form a bond here if you see green and blue similarly adenine will form a bond with thymine if you see uh, yellow and red will form a bond. Yellow, red, yellow, red. Yellow, red, yellow, red. So green forms bond with blue and yellow with red. That is the pairing, right? So they are comp these two strands are complemented to each other actually. They are complementary. Because they form a hydrogen bond between specific pairs only. So H bond between specific pair only. Example, G will form with C, A will form with T. Correct. So once I've got the secondary structure, but if you see, to get the exact precise 3D structure, we have to take into consideration the geometric and the steric constraint. So then comes the tertiary structure. Here if you see, there are so many secondary structure combined to form a tertiary structure. Right? When you talk, uh, take into consideration all this uh, geometrical and steric constant, you talk about a tertiary structure. If you don't have quaternary structure for nucleic acids, we have only tertiary structures for nucleic acids. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos. Attempt free online tests, get free study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.